Hey there friend, Sarah Rusnak from Sarah Rusnak Yoga here today to share just a, a short video about some principal alignment cues. Now I learned these in my forest yoga teacher training, forest yoga with Anna Forest. Um, and they have served me well. They serve me really well in terms of getting into my body while I practice yoga, but even while I practice other movement forms or uh, lifting weights, body weight training, even hiking. I think the idea of alignment is that it brings us into our body again and again, reminds us to get our attention into our body. So these basic moves are, I, I start out teaching everybody um, these basic moves, whether it's a beginner's group class or someone I'm working with on an individual level. Um, it really is primary foundational tool, principle for, um, for all other poses. And um, so we'll start out here with those today. Active feet. Now, this variation on active feet is the actual lifting of the toes up off of the mat, but you can see the ball of the foot is still planted on the ground. And the big toe, we have, we have the arch of the big toe that lifts and draws up, but we also have the arch of the pinky toe that lifts and draws up. Now part of that drawing up has to do with the muscles of the legs and the lower legs. So feet bones spread, toes spread, ankle bones are alert and aligned. And that activity, if you do this with me, you can feel it drawing up through your lower leg. Kneecaps lift up and even the upper legs are activated as a result of this active feet. Now moving up the body, the next basic move has to do with knowing how to orient your pelvis. So we have a pubic bone, we have a sacrum, big triangular bone at the base of the spine, and at the base of the, spine, of the sacrum is the tailbone, it kind of curves under. So by having those points of reference in your body, you can check out this like stick your sit bones out, pubic bone through your thighs, that movement. Then you can check out the opposite of that, pubic bone towards the belly button, tailbone down, tilting the pelvis this way, right? So we have these different variations on how we can tilt our pelvis. And having a neutral pelvis by creating that little bit of tilt, depending on your structure, really helps you bring your attention to this area of the body, helps you feel your low belly muscles, helps you activate pelvic floor, right? So we've got pelvic tilt. Now, after pelvic tilt, we're still working our way up the body. Next basic move is called telescoping the ribs. And if you put your hands on your hips and feel for lifting, lifting the rib cage up off of the hips, there's that, the, where the name comes from, telescoping. There's a little bit of space between each of the vertebrae. And it takes deep core muscles to make that happen. So active feet, pelvic tilt, telescoping of the ribs, moving further up the body to the shoulder. Next basic move is called shoulder wrap. So if you reach an arm up, and if you just reach that arm up and notice your arm being close to your face, well, shoulder wrap is an actively engaging certain muscles of the shoulder. And we start with the shoulder blade back here, the scapula, drawing it down the ribs, and then turning the upper arm bone, the humerus, inward. 
So shoulder wrap takes on this down and wrapping forward. And now the arm's no longer up here because the arm is engaged and we're here. So two arms up, two shoulders wrapped. And you could see it opens up this upper trapezius area because um, the shoulder is engaged, we're drawing down and away. Now you can't see them because they're out of the screen, but I have active hands. So just like active feet, active hands is a spreading of the hand bones, the opening up of uh, the fingers, and getting that circulation and that awareness all the way out through the tips of our fingers. So active hands. Relax neck. Now this is one of the things that is unique about forest yoga that people who have never had a forest yoga class before, they'll come and they'll go like, oh, that was so good for my neck. So we work often with a passive relaxed neck in some of the poses. If you just let your right ear come towards right shoulder and then take a breath and feel into the the lengthening of the muscles on the opposite side of the neck. So that's a relaxed neck and you get this passive stretch simply by leaning the head over. And then something that goes with this passive stretch is being able to place your hand on your head and lift the head up. So I kind of want to do the other side to even it out. So lean the head over. Take a breath. Let your head feel heavy. And then when you lift the head up, it gives you a sense of what it's like to not use your neck muscles to pick the head up. So active feet pelvic tilt, telescoping the ribs, shoulder wrap, active hands, relaxed neck, deep breath. It's a big part of yoga. Learning to draw breath in, in a slow and steady way, and let it out in a slow, steady way. One of the ways to know if you're breathing deeply is Bring your hands right onto your ribs and let your fingers wrap around the front of the ribs. If it's comfortable, your thumb can come to the back. And then breathe in a way that spreads your ribs in all directions, out to the side and front and back. So moving the rib cage while breathing. So if your rib cage is like this, breathing in a way that expands it open, and on exhale, it contracts back, right? So expanding ribs, that's also one of the basic moves. And that covers it, active feet, pelvic tilt, telescoping the ribs, wrapping the shoulders, of hands, relaxed neck, deep breath, and expanding ribs. Okay, so whether you're in a class with me or you are in anyone's yoga class or practicing on your own, these small principles of alignment can really change your practice. They're, they're anchors into the embodied experience. They um, bring your attention into your body. And in my experience of practicing yoga, um, that's a big part of what's going on and what it's all about is connecting our brain and our thoughts into the tissues and the joints and the different layers of tissues and really being able to explore your whole body 
with your mind. And the postures, the asana, help us to do that. The principles of alignment help us to do that. All right, so thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it's useful for your practice and of, um, of embodiment and keeping all your cells alive and awake.